it's another friend's subscribe trailer. So, we're going on a Miss on Kitty our, journey. On our way to replace our HP printer with a Canon. Because you don't mess with Miss Kitty. <laughs> well, I, 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 we've discussed it many times, all, all night, all morning. I told you, I'm just going along with it, man. Let me tell you something about Miss Kitty. You know, a lot of people say, man, if my dog don't like you, then I probably don't like you. And I'll go with that. But if Miss Kitty don't like you, you are truly a piece of crap. Because <laughs> <laughs> I like everyone. <laughs> Most of well, I would say that. Right, well. You got a good mostly. handful. You got more handful yeah. right now than ever. Yeah. Well, but uh, an HP is now on the list. Yeah. Well, my thought is I've got um, $30 worth of ink on its way to go into the HP printer that um, I can resell and recoup my money on. So the sad thing is, she was so excited if you watch the videos when we got we found this. I honestly was this printer. She was so excited, and I'll tell you what, man, she's done it. Um, you know, I'm not going to ask print, but for, uh, say once you get on her, that's <laughs> whether you're human or a big computer company. The lights already blinking. <laughs> We'll do our little chat and then we'll swap it out. Oh, is that an HP <laughs> no, no, it's, it's Canon, Canon and that's what we're getting. Yes, we're going back to a Canon printer. Yeah. But uh, anyway, so, you know, I tried to convince her that we got them things coming or them uh, ink cartridges. Ink cartridges are coming again. We just do that and order one from online because of the fuel going down and getting it. And I'll time. tell you what, but she's no. <laughs> I just thought whatever you want, man. Well, I can, like I said, I can recoup my money on the ink. Um, I will have the availability of using a refill cartridge on another situation like this in the future. Well, um, the HP printer is new enough that they said that they would exchange it, take it back, and, and um, well, we're hoping store we credit. Just have to go to the, buy mark. That's what we right. got to take this one back. And they literally called them and stuff. And, uh, Told what was going on, and they said that they would start work it out. Yeah. So the, whatever we got into this one, will go towards the next one and stuff. And then we'll have to we'll just turn around sell the ink cartridges that are supposed to be here tomorrow. Hey, you're just gonna hear some rambling on about that for a little while. <laughs> so that's my she one. Good thing you guys only have to see her for a minute. I didn't listen to it all night. <laughs> two two and a half hours yesterday trying to get the printer to work and then calling HP. Um, and and then, have to take our package. And then have to go purchase my labels at the post office. Anybody who ships will understand yeah. that. I had to go purchase my labels. And at actually, the post they office. won't understand that as much as for us because we take our stuff to a little, little tiny, you know, little tiny post office. And you know they all know us and everything, and uh, you know when we just drop our packs off, it's so smooth and easy. But right now, this time of the year, to get lined up, and you know we've been selling a lot of stuff. So I mean, we go with a lot of packages and just sit there and do that for that whole. It's a, well, I don't you know, know if you noticed how quick I returned. When I got there, there was nobody in the. Oh place. really? Nobody. Wow. I was like, it's wow, crickets. crickets. Yeah. It's yeah. So that but, was. Uh, awesome. Anyway, so going doing that, and not only my, you know, her thing too, but um, Hewlett Packer and HP has just cost us, you know, friggin', and it ain't gobs of money, but no. um, it's, it, it and if you add up my time, man, we're worth yeah. a lot of dang money. Yeah. And then they've taken yeah. up, you know, two yeah, hours of her screwing with it, and yeah. then she was on the phone with them for an hour, and that yeah. didn't do no good, no. and then have to take our time out and run down to the post office, and now. I had to drop everything, man. We got all kinds of stuff uh, you know, going, on. going on, man. So now I'm taking, you know, two to four, six hours, or whatever, you know, because who knows? We can get down here and they don't have our day. Right. You know, you just don't know, man. That's the thing. When you live out like this, it's such a major deal, you know, to a lot of you guys. It's like, oh, you guys make a big deal out of nothing. Well, when you live up in the middle of nowhere, it's a fucking big deal. Well, yeah, I was saying yesterday that yesterday when that happened with the ink cartridge and I realized that, it, that there was a um, protection on the cartridge, that it wouldn't allow me to use the refill ink cartridge, I could have just jumped in the car and waited.
went down to Staples or Home Depot. Yeah, Walmart we were right or there, yeah. And just dealt with it. And yeah. just been like, man, HP, that yeah. was that was lame. But for, for us, for it's us, at it's least a hundred yeah. mile round trip. Yeah. And that's if you're on there if we go on to Walmart, man, it's 140, yeah. 160 miles yeah. round trip. So yeah, everything's a lot more major. Yeah. Not you know, and I wouldn't give it up for the world. But. Yeah. And actually we were on top of it, we thought, because we had yeah. two ink cartridges showing up tomorrow. Yeah. And we could have you know, like I told her, well, we could just not go down today. I was trying everything I could not to go down. He was. <laughs> I got a little bit grouchy, <laughs> thinking that that would persuade me. It didn't work. She got grouchy deal. back, scared the hell out of me. Yeah. It <laughs> but, uh, you know, I just really, man, I did not like going down to Flatlands, man, at all. Well, then he threatened that we. Well, if we go down, we may as well just go all the way. Yeah, and get all that the is, she actually that started making her of it. Of it. That started turning <laughs> around because that's all I would do. We might as well go down and hit all the thrift stores then. But then I told him, I said, but if we just go straight down and turn around, come straight back, I can set up the printer and ship my labels. From I need to go out today. Today. Yeah, and she thinks that I care about that. That's all. You do. <laughs> oh, I do. Do you want it to affect? Yeah. <laughs> want it to affect our DSRs? Absolutely not. That, that, so then we're going to go yeah. down. It's too smart, too, because she didn't pack them up and bring them with us. That way she can use that. Oh, we can't go to hit those thrift stores, babe. Right. we got to get those back. I gotta get That's home. horse crap, babe. i got to get home and ship. <laughs> That's crap. That's crap. It's beautiful out there. Mm -hmm. Well, God, man, it's way... Uh, colder than they said it was going to be. Way colder than... Uh, 14, I think that's what it said. Is that what it said? Yes. Yeah, and it was supposed to be like 28 or 27. Yeah, that's a big, uh, big difference, man. I went out there last night. Man, it was just foggy as all get up. I'm out there doing what I feel doing it. Look up, man, and the fog is starting to break, man. I can see the, the stars. It was, it was pretty magical, man. It's pretty neat. But then lights blinking and. Uh, Talking. I want to take a nap. You do? No. Well, I think I do. You can't. I can't. I can't. I don't know what other hat bag since we got a warm and toasty. I'll just tell you to get you down. But, uh, yeah, so we'll probably. You got anything else you want to talk about? Your HP printer? No, I'm done talking about that. I'm done. Yeah, just skip it. Yeah. Go with a can. Go with a can. Well, um, it wasn't BP and, and the guys talking this morning about how... Oh, they were talking about some other HP yeah. thing, but that was in a listing if well, you didn't put that HP or... Well, that they're very, um, brand protective. Yeah, very... HP is very brand protective. They're trying to protect their brand at all costs. So if you have an item that um, will... Is I bet you they don't want you to refill their ink. I bet you they don't. <laughs> if that's compatible with Hewlett Packard in your listing, um, if you mention the company, you have to clearly state that this product is not an HP brand. This is what I got from... Yeah, see, I think I went out to beat the there, Yeah. That if it's... Oh. If you have to clearly state that it's not an HP branded item, that it's just compatible with the HP. So if you don't if you don't clearly state um, that it's just compatible you'll with their product, off. you'll get kicked off. Uh, and know, you'll get a mark against you. Not yeah, just I don't know if that was, like, was that on Amazon or was that on eBay? They can say it all across the board. Oh, really? For, I know that yeah. BP said that his thing was an HP thing and they still keep it off. Because it was an old product and he yeah. figured that it was the person reviewing his listing was a younger yeah, yeah. Uh, entry level that. position that wasn't um, educated on all of their products through history. So they didn't realize that there was it was truly Greed, man. It, Greed. Well they are. Greed. They're they're like, hmm, hold hold on to it all. Which I mean that's their product. Well, yeah. They can do that if they want to. It's their they're company. Yeah, you know, being protective in your your product. Your brand. You know, I mean, yeah. it'd be like us, you know, on our knives or anything else yeah. we make. You know, but uh, um, there's a fine line there. Yeah, totally. But fine you're still, line. you know, yeah. the ink thing I think is completely ridiculous. Yeah. You're still shoving ink or HP, you know, deals in there. Yeah. 
Yeah. We're going to refill them basically just to get us by until we get the new exactly. ones. Because the new ones work way better than the uh, refillable ones. Absolutely. And last longer. But, uh, you know, right? we I, had two yeah. days. That's all yeah. we were going to do is two days. And then we had two yeah. brand new ones. And, and I actually explained that to the representative that I was talking to. And he all he could say, all he could say, um, I don't know anything about that, ma'am. Yeah, then we talked. She brought up the lawsuit to him. I don't know, I don't know anything what you're about that, ma'am. Yeah, right. I, I can't help you, ma'am. You can Google that stuff, man. They got seen big time. It didn't make any difference. Obviously, no. they're still doing yeah. exactly what they, which this might be some of that old stock or whatever. Right. It was right. out because it was in April of 2018 is when they got it. I thought it was fine though. She said it was fifteen million dollar. Yeah, I can verify that. Lawsuit or whatever. I can look. I'm gonna I'm Google gonna, that. Google that crap, man. But uh, yes, I don't know how, however much it was, but it was a lot of dang money. But obviously, the product is still out there. Because HP printed class action lawsuit, one point five million is what they settled for. It's one point five. I thought it was fifteen. Yes, and you so originally had like five. Yeah. You just never know what kind of information you may get. Some yeah. good information the on HP you. Maybe some cartridge. false information on you. <laughs> the HP Inc. cartridge monopoly class action settlement, if approved, will end claims that the printer company installed firmware called Dynamic Security into HP printers and stopped customers from being able to use non HP Inc. cartridges. See, the one that I was using was an HP cartridge, I had just rebuilt it. Well, how did it, and that just caused a little chip or whatever to Yeah, do. I don't know. I can't help you with that, sir. I don't know. I just want part of my $1.5 million back. <laughs> I think that this man, dude, I, I'm telling you, man, we're worth a lot of money. I'm thinking. We get half of HP, that. I will settle for <laughs> $80,000 for my inconvenience <laughs> that I've been going through, for the, and the stress that I've been going through for the last two uh, days. So if you send me eighty grand. I will buy another thirty dollar printer. Or <laughs> forty dollars. I'll, I'll even go all out, man. I'll pay hundred twenty dollars if you send me money for my time and, and stress and have to look what you've done to my wife. I'm stressed out. Out here driving down the middle of nowhere. All right, we'll check back in. I think we're gonna lose our lives. Uh, can we already say once we we're done talking about this? All right, yeah. Yeah, I'm telling you, man. I'm just letting you all in on it. I can get one of these. Uh... Now, when I get home, I'm going to have me some prosciutto. Oh, yeah. Man, she took some uh, last night. We have these. Uh... I thought we were going to do this. We're going to go on today with. <laughs> we're just going to do it. We're just going to do it like freaking Dusty and Tristan, Tristan, man. I'm going to give you a three hour travel video. I love this. 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 But, uh, yeah, check them out, man. Alabama Pickers. They're pretty neat. Uh, but last night, Albertson sells these signature, they're called Signature Brand yeah, all pizzas. Of, all of their signature brands, um, products. We're talking are about really the day good. pizzas. I'm just, I'm just, I'm just saying. Wow, you're showing sure Gabby this morning. I'm just saying, it's because I'm a little dumb. <laughs> but, anyways, but then she took and put the slice of the thin light. Paper thin, and then I. Cross-cut it, so it was tiny little chunks. Yeah, little chunks. Oh, yeah, man. Oh, no, that's still worth man. And we are just babies, just babies. Oh, yeah. Well, that's, it's, it's almost like it's um, a seasoning. Yes. And it's also... Um, she just grabbed it. She came in and I just hacked off a big thing. Was, oh, you did <laughs> not. <laughs> no, I wanted it. No, you did not. <laughs> but it's almost like a seasoning that is um, su substantial enough um, to be a meat, a full meat um, serving, honestly. I mean, I could put that, just sprinkle a little of that prosciutto on um, a thin crust pizza and call it good. I mean, it's not like I'd have to load down the pizza with a bunch of meat. So robust. It is. Yeah. Substantial. I, love that I said substantial. It's substantial. Yes. And flavorful. Little town of Cambridge, Idaho. Gotta slow down, go through town. Need to stop here, man. Sweet. Sales man have been. <laughs> yeah, that was the other thing. Her, sorry, her printer does that. Yeah. So, yeah. So what do I do? I create another. Sell. I create another dusty sale. 
And of course I was so emotional about the whole process of the printer that I didn't oh, think... Oh, they're selling my place, man. Oh, of course so. I had the money, I'd buy that place. I didn't think about changing my shipping time from one day to two day to allow us I for time. That. Yeah, you did too late. I gotta yeah, no, actually, no, hurry home and I've got what? Seven, eight. Half of what sold last night sold under the one day listing. Yeah, so bad when she's all freaking out. Okay, now you're starting to stress me out again. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta get home. She's Gotta all fr or, uh, freaking out last night. I'm all wanted to just get on there and change the. Uh, Did you hear me whistle at the same time I said change? Uh -uh. Change. change. Get on, just get on there and change the. Uh, yeah, you know, so we've been doing next day should be Monday. Should be business day should be Sunday. She's just all. Wow. Why didn't I do that before? You're so brilliant. I said, I know. <laughs> uh, we are delirious now. Oh, we're just kidding. Here they have eight what? grouches. Uh, eight grouches? Eight already? grouches, right? This year? Was that yeah. motel they served 6,700 people? Happy customers. Happy customers and eight grouches. All right, we'll check back in. Just so we're showing the view and the homestead is actually just on the other, well, but basically on the other side of that mountain range. I don't know if you'll be able to see it. But back there. I got this thing focused in so it's really jumbly. But uh can't really see it. But back uh back beyond there I can see it with my with the naked eye, just not on the camera. Oh it kinda that right there. <laughs> is the end of our mountain. Per day. Just up here. Take a potty break for Miss Kitty. Yummy. 
Three. That's what we're gonna yeah. call this. I can say that. Well, I have a book. You have a book? Go figure. <laughs> Go figure. Um, it's called Cured. Yeah. And it's all about curing meat and the history and. It's pretty um, interesting. Yeah. Yeah, and um, um, we say this all the way we live. The way we live. Um, to preserve food that doesn't require energy to store is um, something that we have longed to be able to do. Um, people and that in the means past have said, them. yeah, in the past people have said, well, you're not a real homesteader because you don't can your vegetables. Oh, here we go with well, the real homesteader. I know, I know. Well, We're not. I, we, we are, are not. back to earthers, yeah. man. We so, are not. If I can my own vegetables or, or meat or whatever, um, I then have to store it through the winter without freezing. Um, I have a very limited amount of space. Um, to store food that way is very difficult. Yes, we have power. Um, so I can use a deep freeze to store food. Um, but to be able to store meat um, for an extended period of time without any modern luxuries um, is amazing. Oh, totally. And this this prosciutto it would, does just that. And that's why I've kept this book cured. Um, another way that they used to store meat is they would um, pack it in pastry, and the pastry would preserve it. And that's where the pot pies came from. Chicken pot pie. Um, and back in the day when they would do that, they would break open the pastry to access the meat and throw the pastry away. It wasn't so much I don't edible. I read that or heard that. Yeah. That's pretty interesting. Yeah. Um, and they would, you know, basically seal off the, a, a, a clay jar. What, salt with, it, salt um, the heck out of Yeah. I, I, well, you need to read it and stuff. So. Dodge. No, I didn't. I didn't. But we have been thoroughly enjoying that. Um, oh, it's, yeah. And same with the, uh, the Parmesan cheese. Uh, absolutely. I mean, it's made to store um, absolutely. long periods without having... And that, what I was getting at with Odo is, uh, we're already discussed it. It's like, when that meat is gone, it's gone uh, we'll I be reinvested some of yeah. that, man, because it is... Yeah. I, I can't even... Man, no. if you haven't tried it, man, you guys need to try it, too. Yeah. And, and I can only imagine you know, We've checked into it. It's a chunk of change, yeah. man. Thanks, man. <laughs> Other than you're getting me to spend money later, but it, yeah. but the way that we're eating it, man, we haven't even, and I mean, we've been eating it, yeah. man, and you thin it, you cut it's it, it's so thin, yeah, paper thin, then all the stuff, you know, because we've Googled, and then some of you folks have sent us little things, you know, to help us out, and when you slice it, you're supposed to hold it up, and you want to be able to see light through it, that's how thin the yes. you slice it and stuff, yes. man, and it is amazing, yes. and yesterday, I did pull a five marker now. Yesterday, Miss Kitty. Um, I think you already told this. About the eggs? Oh, no, not the eggs. You were oh. talking about the pizza. Oh, the pizza's great, too. Yeah, yeah see? That's, I mean, that's yeah. what I'm saying. Is we we are have been eaten, and it just takes, like she said, it's like a seasoning. But she a took... A substantial seasoning. Yeah, it's been so just yeah. amazing. Yeah. But she took it, and uh, I just had my tooth on it. But um, she took it. You know, did eggs, but she made these egg sandwiches and then laid that, you know, fried some of that up, and she was just over there, ooh, ah, because when she uh, went to fry it up, the fat that was on it went completely clear. Just like a And she was glass. just all, come look at this, baby. <laughs> it was so cute. Perfectly but, clarifying. But it is, that stuff is amazing, and oh, she put it on man. the egg sandwich, man, and I am telling you what, it was... And then, of course, I, I did a little dusting of parmesan. Yeah, of course you did a little too. dusting of parmesan. Huh? Man, it was just completely amazing. But I would think that, that um, the way that... That Ford right there, I think, some crazy for some um, reason. The way that um, we have this prosciutto in the full slab like this, I'm sure it's the same with anything when you go to buy... Because I've seen little pre-packaged packages that have... Um, a piece of cheese wrapped in prosciutto in it for a snack at the register type of thing. And I'm sure that that flavor is different than the flavor of what we have because we have a, a really high quality. Oh, it is. Yeah, cheese. it is. Man, amazing. Yeah. I'm telling you. So that's basically I was gonna, that's what I was saying is that we're going to, that's something. And 
like I said when we unwrapped it, four months, man, that thing, you know, it'll never mm -hmm. last that long. Well, but, it, well, you know, it, man, it may be... We haven't even eaten an inch. No, but I mean... Or, it's just, maybe, oh, not even a half, this. maybe a half an No, and if it started, if we so. went and just kept doing it, probably cut it in half, maybe freeze it or something. So. No. <laughs> Heck no, man! No. I don't think that you're supposed to freeze that. Right. I think it changes the consistency of the meat. To, have to Google that. It just has to stay what it is. It is right. what it is. Right, so okay. we're going to go gonna go run in to buy Mart and... Uh, Do our thing. Oh, dude, they've got uh, wood chips here now. That's where we've seen them that I was saying um, they have them now. Um, Okay, we'll be right back. Yes. Stop. Yeah, if you don't eat Had it. If you don't eat something, you're going to end up uh, getting something you don't want to eat. Yeah, man. I want to go home and have these. It's a meat. All right, so you can see, you can see it back there. Got me a new cannon printer. Yeah. HP. Just a little bit more. Are you okay with that? This is the same one we had before. Mm, no, it's a different. I was in the scan bin before. We almost got with the scan bin and everything. But. I don't use it often enough. Uh, I used to scan the. Wilson section. Wanted posters while I'm traveling. Ain't doing that no more. Get the shop there. Actually, that's the second hand store. Well, I, I think I think 
the first, my first thought when I see that is, well, then why don't you sell it on eBay? If it has that value exactly. on eBay, then open yourself up an account and sell it on eBay. Well, no, then what they do, you know, they have those on, you know, whatever it is. You know, and on eBay, this thing's bringing uh, 99 dollars you know, or whatever. Yeah. And they have theirs at, you know, seventy nine ninety five. you know, yeah. you're getting the deal. Ew. Well, the funny thing is, is Matt and I always question, uh, question them on it. As you can see right on the printout. Right, that it's actually It's listed, sold. it's not sold. Right. You know, and I always tell them, it's like, dude, I can take this pair of sunglasses, I can put these on eBay right now for $299.95. You know, you can put it, you know, if you're into it, then you can put whatever price you want, whether it's gonna sell or not, that's a whole different ball game. What you looking at that, Miss Kitty? Oh, just an email that came in. From? Yeah. That's funny. Are you going to read it to the world? Or are you just no. going to sit there and laugh to yourself? No, it's a, it's a private one. It's a private oh, it is email. for one of our viewers? Yes, from a viewer? Yes. <laughs> Dude, I'm going to knock the crap out of her. I've been so nice this morning coming down here, but I didn't even want to. And now, it's time for you to kiss my butt. Okay, not sure if you will remember me. I'm from Hillside Junior High or Capital. I'm Rob Fields. I actually ran into you and Kitty around 14 to 15 years ago at a big flea market in Cascade. You and your family were living in your motorhome at the time. Kids were still quite young. I ran into James Glenn on a job site about a year ago and he told me about your YouTube channel. Just wanted to let you know that I've been watching you guys for a while and really enjoy your channel, especially the story videos where you're doing the story videos you were doing for a while. I remember reading it these days, but my mom lives in Weezer, so it's fun to see the Weezer videos. She likes your channel, too. Anyways, we just left Weezer. We just left Weezer. Anyways, <laughs> don't want to take too much of your That's time, fun. but wanted to let you know I've been watching. Keep them coming, and maybe we'll run into you guys at some point. Oh, at this awesome. point, I didn't recognize your voice from the other side of the street. At this point, I would reckon I would Oh, really? Okay. You just the laugh that gets me in trouble. Yeah. yeah, that's pretty cool, though, Rob, that you said it. Yes, no. thank you. That's yeah. awesome. Yeah. You were going to read that? You were scared? Well, no, I wasn't scared. I just didn't know what you were just give me the look on I camera, dude. We're okay. going to go. Where's we're going to have to my, turn this camera off. Where's my nerf gun? Because I am going to pop you in the face with it. <laughs> Whoa, dude. You are something today, Miss Kitty. Yes. No, but, no, it's, but I, cool. I think it's really cool that you said, hey. Yes, Hey, that's I, awesome. I, yeah. I'm that's trying awesome. to, I, I don't know, you must be our age, so you'll understand this. I think my memory might be slipping, because I don't, do you remember the Cascade running into somebody from Hillside? Capital? Shh, don't they tell people where I went to school there? Thanks for watching. Hillside. I just did, I read it in the Rob. message. Yeah. <laughs> I know that's what it's like. It's a long time ago. It's a little hazy. Especially in the motorhome days, I was a little hazy. hazy. <laughs> yes. yeah, that's what you want to go. Um, James Glenn. No, he ran into James Glenn at a job site. Well, His I name is that. Robin. Oh, okay. <laughs> God, man, I'm going to kill him today. I've tucked it as long as I can. <laughs> yeah. Just kidding. So I'm going I, home. I think you better back off. I gave you some. I'm trying to remember who James food. Glenn is. I guess we're going to have to dig out your books. <laughs> no. <laughs> uh, the Rob of it. No, I guess James Glenn. He ran into James Glenn. Did he say Capital? Yes. Did he say Oh, he did. Oh.
really got me pondering back. Time's just crazy. I'll talk about time here for a minute, man. It is, uh, I cannot, what is the name today? summer and the fish fences and everything man it was just like whoosh. this is crazy yeah. that's me and Travis talking this I mean we're it wasn't less than two weeks or two weeks till Christmas so we yeah. still got crap to get yeah we gotta get our we gotta get our crap to get. Uh, I don't even know where a year book is I don't either but I hope that it ain't out of that trailer I think could Very be. well could be. Could have lost Bob. Stretch down the highway, you know, nothingness. And 
you know, if you drove a long distance, man, especially when you're a truck driver, man, you go into this zone, man, and it's, I wouldn't say it's a happy place, it's just a zone that you go into, man, and I'm just cruising, and I've got the thing, you know, at price 60 miles an hour, 55, 60 miles an hour, and I've got the cruise control set. You know, and I'm just cruising, I'm cruising, man. I'm right in line, you know, convoying with another, there's another uh, big rig in on front free, of me. On the freeway. On the freeway, yeah. And I mean, I got, you know, a heck of a distance between us. And we're both just cruising 55, 60 miles an hour. And I have, uh, one car goes past me and gets in front of me. And then there's another car coming up in the passing lane. And about that time, the big rig that's in front of the car in front of us starts blue, you know, a tire starts throwing the tread off a recap. You know, and man, I'm just kind of watching what's going on, you know, nothing, no big deal, man, you know. The guy's getting ready to pass and all that. And so the big rig starts to go over into the slow lane. This is all obviously happening very fast. And you know, and I'm letting up on cruise control, so we're cruising. And um, so I hit the cruise control off, and about that exact time as he's going off a little bit here, and the one here, the uh, the other one slams on their, I mean, just hits their brakes, kind of pulls in to go around him because he's kind of off, and hits his brakes like to stop, and the other one's here, and I'm in, you know, just cruising, and. Man, that semi, I think he's seen what was going on, got over more, and as I, and I, man, I go, what did I, do? I went, went one way, and when I looked in the mirror, I could see the, the car trailer going, ur, 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 and I got seven cars on this semi, and it's going, ur, ur, and man, and then I corrected it back, and I look in this mirror, and it's sideways here going, ur, ur, ur. and then uh, right at that time, I see a gap, and I just gun it, and I shoot that semi and that trailer between those two cars, man, it was insane. I got up to the next exit and got out and my legs were shaking so bad that I had to, man, you know, regain my uh, composure. composure, man. I ended up uh, calling, me. calling Kitty and stuff. I mean, yeah. it was, you know, my legs, I've never had, never been so scared. And that whole time I got on that, that whole time I was visualizing you know, when you look in your mirror, man, and your trailer is sideways behind you with seven cars on it. Yeah. You know, and obviously, if you hit something, that seven cars are just going to wipe me, you know. Yeah. Okay, duh. Yeah. But I, I thought for sure I was going to lay that thing on its slide, man. It was so dang scary. Then I got out. I mean, my leg. Man, it scared the heck out of me. I hate it, Rabbit. I'm glad you don't have to do that anymore. <laughs> I hate it, man. Oh, not when the money wasn't that good. Before, there were times that the money was all right. I got took on that deal for a long time. Well, I didn't visit her for the car hauler for a year or so. Anyway. I always got a story, man, I'm telling you. That's what I would drive if I was going to drive a truck again. Yeah, that'd really freak you out. Yeah, <laughs> I would. trucks. The boys are coming out of them hills. I think that's about it. Do you guys want to film I something? think so. I, I'm, I think that... Um, on the downhill side heading on back to the homesteads so please remember to like subscribe and share